So in video one, I did the overview of this TIE fighter and my choices, and I started on the wing design. So we left off right here. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is come back to my line tool, and I'm going to make a line that goes 0.435 inches. And again, I want to match that same 110 degrees. I'm going to hit my escape. I'm going to dimension, actually, I'm going to go back. Before I do that, I'm going to dimension this line here. I'm going to go uh, 0.2 inches away. Now I'm going to come to that line tool and I'm going to match that same degrees, escape my line tool. So again, you might want to move your dimensions just so you can see this a little bit clearer as we go through this. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to continue that inside pattern. I'm going to go a line that goes 0.35 inches over. Uh, I believe I sh can do that 110 degrees, hit my escape. And if I dimension from here to here, which I'm going to do as a 0.15, it's going to hold. Yep, I didn't have to do that on the last one. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my line tool again and do a construction line. I'm going to do a construction line from this corner to this corner right here. I'm going to go back to my line tool and I'm going to grab from here to here. I want to match again that same angle. Let me escape out of that line tool and let's redo that. So I'm going to go from here to here, matching that same angle, escaping. And I'm going to dimension from here to here, point one. Going back to my line tool, I'm going to go on the bottom half of that line from here to here. Again, I want to match that same angle, escaping, and I'm going to dimension that point one as well. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to do that uh, straight line that goes across, escaping. And again, I'm going to dimension that 0.1. So now that we've actually set this up, the rest of this is pretty easy. I'm going to click on my mirror tool. I'm going to click on this center line here. And the easiest thing I can do is just grab all of this and mirror it across. And I obviously missed a line there. And I missed a line there. So we're mirroring everything across. I'm going to escape my mirror. I'm going to grab my mirror tool again, and I'm going to mirror everything from the top. Oh, I'm going to select my mirror line, mirror everything from the top, and escape my mirror. So we have that set up now. So when I come to my extrude, I'm going to click on each of these features. I'm going to set my depth to 0.1 and we can see that wing taking shape. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a sketch there in the center so I can do that last piece. And again, the way that I'm gonna do that last piece is using that same uh, mirror tool. So I'm gonna grab my line tool, 